You're welcome to solve this nice math problem, which is 8 to the power of x plus 64 to the power of x divided by 16 to the power of x plus 32 to the power of x. This is equal to 3 over 2. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. We can express 8 to the power of x. This is 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x then plus 64, which we can express as 4 to the power of 3, raised to the power of x, divided by, now, here we have 16 to the power of x, which we can express as 2 to the power of 2, times 4, raised to the power of x, then plus that 2, here we have that 2 to the power of x, we can express this as 2 times 4 to the power of 2, raised to the power of x, this is equal to 3 over 2. The next step is that 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x and 4 to the power of 3 to the power of x, this is in the form of a to the power of m raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of m raised to the power of n. Applying this property, then we have 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 3 then plus 4 to the power of x raised to the power of 3 divided by now in the denominator here this is the same thing as a times b raised to the power of n which can be expressed as a to the power of n times b to the power of n so applying this property this implies that we have this is 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 2 then multiplying by 4 to the power of x then plus now we have 2 times 4 to the power of 2 to the power of x so this is the same thing as 2 to the power of x times 4 to the power of x raised to the power of 2 this is equal to 3 over 2 now the next step from here we have 2 to the power of x and 4 to the power of x here is common here. So we can represent 2 to the power of x and 4 to the power of x with a letter that is we let a to be equal to 2 to the power of x and we let b be equal to 4 to the power of x. So let us press this equation here in form of a and b. So in the numerator here we have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 then divided by a to the power of 2 times b then plus here we have a times b to the power of 2 this is equal to 3 over 2 now in the numerator here a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 this is the sum of two cubes that we can express as a plus b into the parentheses this is a to the power of 2 minus a times b then plus b to the power of 2 everything here divided by now here we have that a squared times b plus a times b squared we have that a b is common here so we factor out a times b then we have a plus b this is equal to 3 over 2 so a plus b and a plus b is common here so we can simplify here and this implies that we have a to the power of 2 minus a times b plus b to the power of 2 divided by a times b this is equal to 3 over 2 the next step is to cross multiply here so that now we have 2 multiplied by a to the power of 2 minus a b plus b to the power of 2 this is equal to 3 times a b now let's open the parentheses a so that we have 2 times a square this is 2 a square minus 2 times a b this is minus 2 a b then plus 2 times b squared this is 2 b squared this is equal to 3 a b 
Now let's take 3ab on the left hand side so that we have 2a squared minus 2ab subtract 3ab then plus 2b to the power of 2 this is equal to 0. So this is 2a squared minus 2ab minus 3ab this is minus 5ab then plus 2b to the power of 2 this is equal to 0. So let's divide everything here by b to the power of 2. So here we have b to the power of 2. And also here we have b to the power of 2. So b squared a simplifies. So that now we have b and 1b here simplifies. So that now a squared over b squared, this is in the form of a to the power of n divided by b to the power of n which we can express as a over b raised to the power of n. Let's apply this property here so that we have 2 into the parentheses. This is a over b raised to the power of 2. Subtract 5 into the parentheses. This is the same thing as a over b. Then plus 2. This is equal to 0. The next step from here, we can let a over b be equal to u. So let's substitute a, b with u so that now here we have 2u squared minus 5u plus 2. This is equal to 0. So you find that this is a quadratic equation that we can solve by factorization method. Remember the product here is 2 times 2, which is 4. The sum is equal to minus 5. So we can identify two factors here. If you multiply these two factors, we get a value of 4. And if we sum these two factors, we get a value of minus 5. So minus 4 times minus 1, this is 4. Minus 4 plus minus 1, this is minus 5. So we have 2u squared subtract 4u minus u plus 2 this is equal to 0 so this means that we have got two parts here now the first part is that 2u is common we can factor out 2u so that we have u minus 2 then subtract 1 is common here so into the parentheses this is u minus 2 this is equal to 0 so u minus 2 is common here, so we can factor out u subtract 2 into the parentheses. This is 2u minus 1. This is equal to 0. Now, we have got 2 u, u minus 2. This is equal to 0. And 2u minus 1. This is equal to 0. So we have that u1 is equal to 2. And here we have that u2 is equal to, this is the same thing as 1 over 2. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we can say that let a over b be equal to u. And if you recall, a is equal to 2 to the power of x and b is equal to 4 to the power of x. So let's substitute this. Now let's substitute a with 2 to the power of x and b with 4 to the power of x. So we have 2 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x. This is equal to u1, which is equal to 2. All right? So 2 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x, this can be expressed as 2 over 4 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 2. Remember, 2 is raised to the power of 1. Now, if we simplify here, 4 divided by 2, this is 2. So we have 1 over 2 raised to the power of x. This is equal to 2 to the power of 1. So 1 over 2 to the power 1 over 2, this is actually in the form of 1 over a to the power of n, which can be expressed as a to the power of minus n. Applying this property, then we have 2 
to the power of minus 1 or raised to the power of x this is equal to 2 to the power of 1 now this implies that here we have minus x remember the bases are common here that is a to the power of n this is equal to a to the power of m since the bases are common then n is equal to m that is exponent n is equal to m so we have minus x is equal to 1 so we can divide both signs by minus minus 1 so that now x1 is equal to minus 1 x1 is equal to minus 1 so let's proceed to remember u2 is equal to 1 over 2 so this means 2 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x this is equal to 1 over 2 so this means this is 2 over 4 raised to the power of x this is equal to 1 over 2 so here we have 1 over 2 raised to the power of x this is equal to 1 over 2 so 1 over 2 to the power of x this is 2 to the power of minus x this is equal to 2 to the power of minus 1 since the bases are common then exponent that is minus x is equal to minus 1 so we divide both signs by minus and this means that x2 is equal to 1 so we have two values of x here we have x1 is equal to minus 1 and x2 is equal to 1 these are the values of x for this algebra problem so can you follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now